Hey, Wolfpack, happy holidays. Ghoul Tide greetings to you. Well, I hope you're ready for tonight's movie, man. We are here at the old Chiller Drive-In, hanging out in the haunted projector booth. And we have, uh, I guess you could say, a little lump of coal for your cinematic stocking tonight as we present from 1976, The Legend of Bigfoot. The Legend of who? Bigfoot. You know, you know the big tall guy with uh, all creepy and lots of hair. Oh, yeah, like Robin Williams. Oh, bony Bob, Bigfoot's nowhere near as creepy as Robin Williams. This is about a legendary creature that roams the American Northwest and about a guy that spends his entire life trying to prove that Sasquatch exists. What's a scratch crotch? Not scratch crotch, Boney. It, it, Sasquatch. It's just another name for Bigfoot, like, uh, like Yeti or, or Skunk Ape and, and uh, a Wendigo. So how come this thing has so many names? Was he in the Witness Protection Program or something? No, Boney. See, the thing is, is that so many different cultures were believed to have seen Bigfoot that they just all made up a whole bunch of different stories about him. And that, actually, that's the thing, is that Bigfoot is imaginary. He doesn't exist. He's make-believe. Oh, like the Easter Bunny or health care reform. Exactly. Tonight, we're going to show a movie that nobody saw about a creature that doesn't exist. Yeah, pretty much. Well, at least we're consistent. Now, don't be too hard on this movie, Boney Bob, because I tell you what, at least the guy in this movie wasn't like a whole bunch of other people that tried to make a, a cheap, fast buck on Bigfoot. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. You mean there is actually a way to make money off of this thing? Yeah, are you kidding me? Man, there's big rewards out there for anybody that can prove Bigfoot exists. Okay, so what you're telling me is that oh, I can make a fast buck if I can prove this fairy tale is for real. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, I'm a believer! All I need now is a big hairy guy and a camcorder, and I'm in business. Boney, hold on a second. What are you doing? What? Who, me? <laughs> Nothing. Say, uh, have I told you lately how shiny a pelt looks? Yeah, forget about it. I'm not falling for another one of your scams. All right, everybody, let's get you cats started with the movie. If you're ready, why don't you crawl on up to the graveyard, hey, dig yourself up a little date to watch the movie with. Hey, maybe cuddle up with your favorite ghoul friend, wrap yourselves up nice and warm in a nice little burial shroud, pop up some popcorn, and turn the lights down low, and get ready to wander the American Northwest as we go in search for the legend of Bigfoot. Your Wolfman Max, chiller driving. Bye! <laughs> Let's roll it. Where's Leonard Nimoy when we need him? Okay, Oscar, it's simple. All you have to do is wander around the drive-in like Bigfoot while I videotape you. Got it? Well, uh, what's my motivation? Uh, actors. <clears throat> All right. You're an outcast of society. A social misfit trying to make his way in a world gone mad. Think of Tom Green. Gotcha. Oh, listen, if you really want this video to be convincing, be sure to use a lot of shaky camera work, okay? Trust me, on this show, that won't be a problem. Hey, Oscar the Ogre, how you doing there, big guy? What brings you here? I'm just working on a business deal with Boney Bob. <laughs> a business deal? Oh, brother. Hey, Oscar, please don't tell me you're going to get involved in one of his fly-by-night scams. Fly-by-night nothing? Do you know how much money I've sunk into this merchandise? Take a look at this. So, what is this? That right there, my flea-infested friend, is what you call a genuine Bigfoot call. Go ahead, try it out. Okay. Here, Bigfoot, 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 Bigfoot. Wow. Subtle. If you think that's something, check out the deluxe model. The deluxe model. Uh, all right. <laughs> wow. I, I, I can admit this is kind of cool. Uh, how did you get all the grunts recorded in there? I've had a microphone in the men's room for a while now. You never know when a good blackmail opportunity is going to turn up. Tony, that's disgusting. <laughs> if you think that's disgusting, get a load of this. Bigfoot toe jam? Digging deep to bring you the richness that is Sasquatch? What do you think? I, I think if anybody eats this, they're going to be sick for a month. Fine. We'll market it as a weight loss supplement. Hey, look. When you guys are ready to shoot... I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're not. You're staying right here, big guy. You too. I want to find out what kind of scam you guys are trying to patch here. Oh, sorry, look at the time. We got to get everybody back to the movie. Uh, 
All right, well, he's right about that. All right, cats, here we go. It's the legend of Bigfoot on Wolfman Max Chiller Driving. Ah <laughs> Sorry, I had a fog in my throat. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this. Hey, hope all you cats are digging tonight's movie from 1976, The Legend of Bigfoot, which is a lot better than the fake Bigfoot movie that Boney's trying to scam everybody with. Hey, look, at, if I have any problems with anybody coming around here trying to find that monster of yours, I... Oh, come on. I mean, who's going to come all the way out here looking for some hairy, smelly beast? Well, I mean, besides Morbin Melvin's mom. Hold on, let me get the door. Hi, I'm Reggie Donner of the Donner Party. Uh, yeah, Reggie, thanks. I already got plans for oh, lunch. Oh, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm the area's leading authority on mysterious animals. What do you mean? You know, like the uh, abominable snowman, yeah. the Loch Ness Monster, El Chupacabra. Oh. Yeah, my card. Okay. Uh, Reggie Donner, oh, documentary filmmaker, cryptozoologist, wow. Yeah. What's a kryptonitologist? That's cryptozoologist. You see, Boney Bob, the word zoology means the study of animals, whereas crypto means... Yeah, yeah, let me guess. Stuff you made up. Hey, wait a minute. I'll have you know I have a four-year degree from a very prestigious web college. Wow, I hate to say this, Doc, but four years, I mean, that's nothing to brag about. It's kind of a long time for a web college, isn't it? I have a really slow modem. Yeah. All right, look, Doc, I hate to tell you this, but you kind of wasted your time coming out here. See... Boney made this movie, it's about Bigfoot, and it's bogus, it's fake. I know, there's no such thing as Bigfoot. Right. He's a figment of your imagination. There you go. Like all your childhood playmates! Hey, will you knock it off? So I don't understand that. So if you're not investigating Bigfoot, then why are you here? Well, actually, I'm here to investigate the sighting of another mysterious creature. Oh, who? Big Butt. Oh, you're investigating Morbid Melvin's ancestors. <sighs> no, no, no. I've spent the last several years of my life documenting the existence of Big Butt, or the Sasquatch, as the American Indians would say. In fact, you know, I even made a documentary called Making Butt Prints. Well, <laughs> hate to tell you this, Doc, but there is no such creature around here. Uh, scoff all you want. I'd love to, but I'm all out of scoff drops. I've tracked the creature from his last known whereabouts in a little town called Trouser Falls. All evidence indicates that he set up shop right here at the drive-in. What do you mean, evidence? What are you talking about, evidence? Evidence? Evidence like this butt cat. Whoa! Wow. It's really fresh. Go ahead, feel it. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> well, at any rate, I thought it was important to get here as soon as possible, before the drive-in was overrun with hunters. H hunters? What, 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 what do you mean, hunters? What are you talking about? Well, yeah, when a creature like this is sighted, it becomes target for hunters looking for new game. This is bad. That's very bad. Bodie, do you know what this means? I sure do. It means I'm going to make a fortune on ammo sales. <sighs> All right, Wolfpack. Looks like I'm going to have to get you cats back to the movie while I go find Oscar and try and see if I can save him. All right, here we go. It's Legend of Bigfoot on Wolfman Max Killer Driving. Oh, hey, Wolfpack. I I'm trying to find Oscar the Ogre before all these hunters do. Holy cats, I can't believe this. I've never seen so many rifles in one place since, since Charlton Heston's birthday party. Man, I hope Oscar's okay. I, oh, there you are. Hey, Wolfman Matt. How you doing? Uh, Oscar, how am I doing? Come on. I'm sure a lot of mosquitoes are on here. Oscar, that's not mosquitoes. These are hunters. They're trying to fill you with lead. Hey, listen to me. Look at that stupid video you and Boney Bob made. They, they, they're after you. They think you're Bigfoot. They're trying to kill you. Wow, Boney Bob was right. I really do need a knacking coat. Uh, whoa! Hey, you fellas seen a big hairy monster around here? Uh, a, a monster? No, no, no. Yeah, you seen a monster? No. Hey, no monsters around here. Hey, you know what? Check the concession stand. Thank you. Good day to you. Hey. Wait a second. I know you. You're Bigfoot. Oh, no, no, no. I'm his second cousin. I'm Big Gut. You're not fooling me. I know Bigfoot. I've seen all them beef jerky commercials. Say your prayers, yeah, Marvin. Yeah, hold on a second, Jethro. You're not going to kill him. He's a scientific find. I know. That's why I got to kill him. How am I going to prove he exists if I ain't got a dead one to show people? He's got a point. Hey, would you stay on the awking tail already? You're not helping. Hey, uh, look, do you even have a license to hunt big feet? Sure Bigfoot? I do. Hold that. Right there. Uh, let me see. Your name is really Jethro. 
Hey, hey, this is a deer hunting license. Do you even know the difference between a Bigfoot and a deer? Yeah, a deer's got big pointy antlers just like this. Whoa! Uh, oh, uh, hey, whoa. Z, did you get one? Yeah, it's got antlers like this. Uh, hey, hey, well, Pekka, I, I better go get us some bulletproof vests, or even better yet, I think I'm going to get Oscar to the projector booth where it's safe. In the meantime, let's get you cats back to the movie. It's The Legend of Bigfoot, a Wolfman Max, chiller driving. C come on, Oscar, let's get out of here before Ted Nugent shows up. Well, Wolfpack, there you go. It's another movie for you this week. That was The Legend of Bigfoot from 1976. Hope you all endured that one. And I hope you would finally learn your lesson about scamming people. You know, what's the matter with you? I wish you would just knock that off. Are you kidding? Why change the format now? Boney, you know what? You never learn, do you? Don't, don't you roll your eyes at me. Look at me. You sent a scientist on a wild goose chase, you brought a bunch of hunters to the drive-in, and you almost got poor Oscar killed. <sighs> Boney, I, I don't know how you do it, but I'd like to know, how is it that you just never get into any trouble no matter how crazy the stunt you pull? Ah, simple. Well, I slip the right as 50 bucks every week. All right, well, look at it. Where's that Dr. Donner anyway? I haven't seen him for hours. Beats me. Last time I saw him, he was headed over to the big movie screen to prowl around. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that, that's where all the hunters are. Better hope that guy's okay. Oh, hey, Dr. Donner. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you. Oh. Hey, where you been? Oh, I've just been out collecting stool samples. Oh, you could warn a guy. Uh, sorry, Wolfman Mac. Hey, you know, I just stopped by to say goodbye. Oh? I feel like my whole trip's just been a big bust. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I haven't found a trace of the big bust. Wait a second. You mean you came all the way here in search of that guy? Oh, yeah, why do you ask? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I went to college with that dude. Man, I never saw a guy eat like him. Boy, could he put away the squirrels. <laughs> hey, you think you could hook me up with him? Sure. I'll send you a link to his Facebook page. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> looks, like that one, looks like that one worked out okay. Well, what do you say, folks? Let's check in with our petrified projectionist, good old Cliff Clavicle over here, and we'll check in with what next week's movie's gonna be. Now we have about 800 square miles of water out there. You two guys, come over here. Hey, it looks like that one's going to be a crazy movie. Well, it looks like all the zombies are sweeping up all that rotten popcorn. The ghosts are closing down the concession stand. And the just hearsing around Hearst Club is pulling out of the driving gates as we speak. What do you say, folks? Same Wolf Time, same Wolf Channel next week, huh? It's more B-movie madness on Wolfman Max Chiller Driving. Bye! <laughs> hey, we'll scare you later. You stay creepy. Hey, you know, I wonder whatever happened to those two hunters. We had three guests out here to the old Chilla Drive and want to thank Dennis Barger of Wonder World Comics and Taylor for being by. Rich Jackson, who really did make a real movie called Making Butt Prints, look for that one in a 2010 film release. And of course, we have over here from Roseville, Mike England, who won a raffle to have a little walk on role on our show. Is that or you lost a bet? I don't know what.
Wolfman Max Chiller Drive-In is recorded in downtown Pontiac, Michigan at the Erebus Haunted Attraction, the world's largest walk-through haunted house on the planet, and brought to you in part by the Motion Picture Institute, Michigan's premier film school. To enroll, go to mpifilm.com.